Hello everyone, Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 15, and we're playing on the old family farm on the RDL and multiplayer server. I was just joined by a uh, Canadian. I have to say, I don't think the uh, synchronization uh, took any quicker than before. Uh, supposedly, according to the update, the 1.3 update for farming sim. Am I on the right side of this? I think I am. Yeah, according to the 1.3 update for uh, Farming Simulator, the synchronization for people joining multiplayer servers was supposed to be quicker. Doesn't seem like it is, so... Oh, let's see what's here. I'm not exactly sure we're going to mow some grass here, but we're going to find out. I think, uh, here. I can't remember which button is which when I turn my steering wheel. I got my attach button on the steering wheel, so if I turn it 180 degrees, it's on the opposite side. Okay, out by the farm here, I do believe. At least have a small grass field anyway. Combine too. We'll see once when we get that far. Hold the mowers, turn them on. Turn the front one. So anyway, for those of you who have joined the multiplayer server, hope you're having some fun on it. I thought it'd be a little fun to have, uh, have some fun with some larger vehicles on this size of a map. And let's see. The combine. Not that one. Now this one. Out of the way. And move this tractor out of the way too. Now, I would have used one of these size tractors for the mower, but the trouble is these tractors don't have front three-point hitches. So, I think we can mow right through these uh, posts here, seeing as how there isn't much grass on this field otherwise. I think we'll have it done pretty quick. And of course we go with the uh, large tether too. Can't have the small one on this map, you know. Wait till the uh, Canadian gets past here. Ooh. That's what happens when you uh, bump the button on your steering wheel. I was actually considering changing that because of the placement, but uh, fortunately my problem is that most of the buttons on the steering wheel don't work in farming sims, so...
pull the back ones back up. And let's see once here. Another grass. Is it three maybe that's grass? She must be a place to sell grass there. I did not know that. I know the uh, straw sell point there. Oh, let's see what's here. Kind of going about this the wrong way. I wonder if you get water here. area here I take it like someone uh, mowed a couple strips in this field already a lot of buttons to push when uh, doing these mowers Curiosity. I did, uh, someone suggested, this was like a few weeks ago, there is a lift and lower all implements button. Um, I did look a while back, I couldn't find it, but uh, I was looking here while I was uh, putting the buttons in for my joystick and I found it. And I do have it programmed here. I wonder if it works. Hey, it does. Look at that. Both lowers come up. Nice. Uh, shift yeah I think it was or something I forget what the button was actually let me try it on my keyboard here a moment nope what shift V it was programmed to a key I don't remember what ah yes for those of you who wondered it is control V That's not the button I have it on my joystick, obviously, but or steering wheel. But yes, on the keyboard it is Control B. That'll lift and raise all implements. So if you got a front and a rear, like you know the mower here, that'll raise the front mower and raise the rear mower. It does raise the front first, and then it raises the back. And then I believe it does the reverse when it lowers. It lowers the front, then lowers the back, if I remember correctly. I wasn't really uh, paying that close attention which one was going up and down first here when I was testing it a minute ago. Yes, yeah, so we'll see if we can uh, make some mixed rations for the cows here, maybe. Ah, looks like the uh, Canadian is doing some cultivating on our field there. Hopefully that uh, cultivator is big enough for that field.
Uh, looks like he drives through the hedges like I do. Okay, not so bad. I don't feel so bad now. If I'm the uh, not the only one that does that. And I'm still getting used to this uh, steering wheel a little bit. I uh, typically, uh, you know, 90% of the time I play with the keyboard. But yeah, now lately I've been playing with the uh, steering wheel a lot more. Okay, looks like that was everything. Hit my lift all button. Very cool button, lifts everything up. I like that. Let's see, I do have one that folds. Nope, that was not the fold one. How about that one? Ah, it was that button. Yeah, now I just need to uh, remember what buttons I've configured on my uh, steering wheel that do what now. Oh, yeah, it is going to get caught in the top. Okay. Wondered about that. Let's grab another tractor here. This seems appropriately sized to pull our wind roar. The mixed rations. I believe we're going to have to bail it to actually make it. There we go. And of course, we got the big wind roar. I think this is actually wider than the tether yet. And that tether is quite wide. Now I'm just going to drive through the hedge here because this thing is going to be big. Was it 19 or 20 meters or something like that? Oh, yeah, we are all folded out. Okay. Uh, let's head to the garage here a moment. I just want to check the width of this. 19, yeah, 19 meters. Okay, that's what I was thinking it was. Oh, it actually does rake the untetted grass in, too. I was wondering about that, if it would uh, rake it in or just leave it there. Oh, I didn't actually want to get the straw. Oh, well. Okay, you do have to pay a little bit of attention here because this thing is quite wide. Of course, I guess I could just, uh... Oh, Canadian, gotta go. Okay, Canadian has left the server. I have to double check, too. I'm not sure if I actually bought the baler or not, so... I have to do that yet.
Okay, yeah, we'll just uh, leave that little bit there. I had to make a pass or two of that with the bailout, but it should be fine. We'll head up to field three again. Okay, I've taken another unofficial route there, apparently. Thing does take a moment to uh, fold out. And I actually wonder too how many farmers actually use a rake that's this big. That's a lot of grass in the one wind row there. Rake or wind row, whatever it's uh, called. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of grass, especially if you're doing like the first cut or something. Typically the first cut for hay, alfalfa, grass, whatever your type of hay straw is. There is a lot of material on the first cut, so. Yeah, whatever's picking this up, that would be a lot of material in that wind row there. You know, whether you're chopping it or baling it or just picking it up, period. A lot of grass, a lot of alfalfa, a lot of whatever. Try to lower it in a way so we don't mess up our wind rows already made. Okay, if we do this right, I think we can get this all one pass, maybe. I'll find out here. Nope, maybe not quite. Also wondered too the way farming sim works with its wind rows. There's only so much uh, material that farming sim allows in its wind rows. I wonder if this is actually too much material in a wind row if you're using this rake. Always uh, wondered about that. Okay. And folks, we'll have to uh, wrap up the episode here a little bit uh, shorter today, but uh, due to time constraints, I need to get going. So, 
yeah, if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.